So Aditi, you are chair of the Public Outreach Committee. Uh, what do you do and what do your subcommittees do? Okay, so, so yeah, as, a, um, as the chair of the Public Outreach Committee, our overall goal is really to focus on bringing the science of materials to the general public. And so we do that um, through our subcommittees and as a whole in different ways. So um, our Impacts of Materials on Society subcommittee, they've actually developed an, a course for community college and undergraduate students oh. that's a, a general education elective course so that they can learn about how materials have had impact on society, you know, for major outside of science and engineering. Um, we have a strange matter subcommittee. So that sounds <laughs> good, name. good name. Um, so this is actually a 10-year project that's um, been going on. Um, it's a, a traveling museum exhibition and so the first iteration of that was Strange Matter and that's been to hundreds of museums all over wow. the United States and now they're working so we're actually in the fundraising stages now for the next version of that which is called Strange Matter Green Earth and the idea of that is now to really bring um, a museum exhibition that focuses on sustainability and energy because those are really you know very important themes both to material scientists and to the, uh, the general public and the it's it's a really kind of an ambitious thing because they're hoping to bring it all over the world. So go to Central and Latin America, um, South America, Europe, Asia eventually, so kind of spread it throughout the world. So you're obviously already doing a lot of outreach. How important is it to communicate information about materials to the general public? So, so it's absolutely critical, really. A lot of the technological breakthroughs that we use every day, like our smartphones and iPads, are rooted in material science breakthroughs. So it's really important to communicate to folks you know, how those underlying materials advances have led to the technologies they use. And then for folks that you know, are researchers at, at university settings or in government level, Labs, you know, most of their funding comes from taxpayer dollars, and it's really critical to make sure that the general public, who is voting on, you know, on what to do with their taxpayer dollars, knows about how important it is to contribute to material science and engineering and the research that goes on. What's being done to interest young people in the field of material research? So we've had two um, really great partnerships through the Materials Research Society. So through our Public Outreach Committee, we've paired with uh, NOVA, the, the PBS group oh, yeah. that uh, developed to, uh, in 2012. And uh, we had a two, uh, sorry, a four part series uh, called Making Stuff. And that was really to, you know, showcase all the really neat things that materials researchers have done. And that was, it was called Smarter, Cleaner, Stronger, Faster, and really, <laughs> you know, highlighted all the cool stuff that goes on. And that was aimed mostly at kind of K through 12 students, and but a lot of different you know demographics have enjoyed that show. And it's it was sorry it was originally aired in 2011 and then rebroadcast in 2012. So that's been a great success. Um, the other thing is, and that's going on here at the meeting a little bit as well. We partnered with the NISE Network, so this is the Nanoscale Informal Science Education Network, and those folks. Um, are a partnership of, of science museums throughout the country that are developing nanotechnology-based exhibits. And so we have a partnership with them so that they can come to our meetings and meet with researchers and that our researchers can partner with them and do outreach activities in their local communities because now they have a bridge you know, to connect with a local science museum. So that's been a really valuable partnership. And what do you think about it is about these activities uh, that will excite young people to enter the field of materials research as a field of study? I think it really, you know, brings it to them in a, in a much more engaging fashion so they can see, you know, like we, we talked about earlier, the iPad or smartphones or things. They can see, you know, if I break one apart and look inside, what, what is this really based on? What is it made out of? And what are the, you know, the circuits and the interconnects and all these things that we, you know, maybe talk about in, in depth in our, in our research symposia? How do they really bring that to life? So what are some of the um, outreach events you're holding here in San Francisco? We have something going on pretty much every day. Oh, so you do? Yeah, <laughs> last night we've been busy. <laughs> so last night we had a student mixer. So this was for um, graduate students attending the meeting to have them kind of learn a little bit about um, 
our public outreach activities. The Lawrence Hall of Science came down, so they're up in Berkeley, and they came over to do some hands-on activities, and they actually do those activities every day uh, during the coffee break. So, you know, we, <laughs> there are lots of folks out during the, the coffee session. So um, that's a great t chance for them to kind of, you know, talk about what they're doing through NISE Network. And then all week we have our uh, public outreach center. So that actually has a bunch of all the different, you know, a little bit about all of our different activities. So the Strange Matter, the Strange Matter Green Earth. We also participate in something called um, Inside Science TV, where researchers can have um, a television crew come to their home institution and film little segments, like 60 to 90 minute, 90 second segments, sorry. Um, about their research and oh. then that can be used in you know in their local news media at you know kind of when they can find time for it kind of a thing so so yeah that's a great activity and then we have um, from for the professional development side we have a series of lectures and seminars all week on you know how to be a more effective communicator how to create a nice looking poster for the poster sessions and then um, you know back at your home institution maybe how to you know communicate well with your local media and, and and, um, communication folks. So. Well, Aditi, I know you have a lot of uh, outreach and a lot of socializing to do, so we'll <laughs> let you go and let you go at it. All right, sounds great. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks. I appreciate it.